What is going on guys? It is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to unlock games on your PlayStation 5 console. So as you can see here, my digital games are locked on my PlayStation 5, and if I try to play them, it takes me to the store and asks me to buy them as if I had not even purchased these games. So when you see these lock icons, it is basically the PlayStation 5 telling you that you don't own these games and you no longer have access to them. So there are a few different reasons why this might be happening, and there are three easy ways to fix this issue. So the most common reason for your games being locked is that console sharing is turned off on your PS5. If there are multiple users on your PS5, they can all play games you've purchased on your profile as long as you have the setting console sharing enabled. This can only be enabled on one console at a time, so you can't have 50 PS5s that can all play your games. However, as soon as you disable console sharing, other users on your console will see a lock icon next to your games and will no longer be able to play them. If you were game sharing with a friend's console and he has lock icons on his games, it's because console sharing was disabled for your user on his PlayStation 5. The solution is to re-enable console sharing for your user on the PlayStation 5 that has the locked games. So on my PS5 here, I'm logged into my secondary user, which is why these games are locked for me. So I'm going to go and log out of this user and log in with my own user. Again, you're going to log in with the user that owns the PlayStation 5 games you want to unlock. Once you're logged in, you'll notice that this user has access to all these games, and that's because the user that owns the games can always play them whether console sharing is turned on or not. Go and head up here to Settings, go down to Users and Accounts, then Other, and in here select Console Sharing and Offline Play. Enable Console Sharing and Offline Play on this console. And now we can head back and log into that secondary user. And now we'll see that our games are now unlocked and we can play them with this alternate user. Now, if you were game sharing your games with a friend on his PlayStation 5, keep in mind that your games will now be locked on his console because we have enabled console sharing on our console now. So they are now unavailable to him on his PlayStation 5. So always remember that if you are game sharing with somebody, your games will be locked on your PlayStation 5 for other users besides your own while you are sharing with your friend. And then if you want your users to once again have access to your games on your PS5, then your games on his console will be locked. So there's always going to be a PlayStation 5 with locked games when you are game sharing with somebody. That's just the way it works. All right, so 90% of the time that unlocks my games for me and I can once again play them. However, there may be other causes for locked games. So the next common reason is licensing issues. This once again goes back to console sharing and ownership of the game, but this is more of a case where the PlayStation 5 doesn't really know what's going on and who owns what. So in that situation, once again, go ahead and log into the user that owns the games you want to unlock. Head up to settings, go to users and accounts, Go to Other, and this time head down to Restore Licenses. Select Restore. Depending on how big your game library is, this may take a while. And once it is done, we can log back into the user that had the lock icons, and they should now be gone. The last common cause for lock icons is if your games are tied to a membership. PlayStation Plus now has a whole game library, and the premium membership gives you access to a whole bunch of games as well. But if your membership expires, or if there is a payment issue, the games will become locked, and you will no longer have access to them. So in this case, just renew or update your payment information, and this can be done on the PlayStation 5 or on the PlayStation Plus website. And it may take a few minutes or even up to an hour, but the games should become unlocked and you will once again have access to them. In combination with all of these settings, you may have to log out and log back into your user on your PlayStation 5 console. Locked games can sometimes be a result of a user error that can only be fixed by logging out and logging back in again. Aside from that though, if the lock issue persists, contact Sony's support because this is something larger than just your user and your PlayStation 5. I'll leave a link down below to their support page and their support chat. Once again, this is only for digital games. If you encounter this with a disc game, which really should never happen, just go ahead and put the disc back in and then try to re-download any content that may have been on the disc. Other than that, if you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comment section down below. I'll try to get to those as quickly as possible. If you like this video, be sure to like like. If you enjoy my content, be sure to subscribe. Other than that, though, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.